Buckingham Palace. We've hit the big time. Full speed, no longer required. Welcome home, my lady. Your ladyship, Rose. They are the Queen's own guests. Treat them accordingly. You better give us a wide berth. Make way, boys. Put them. Don't stop. Don't stop. Our decision, but stop. Dr. Moldfly. Lord Badgley. My lord. I come from the House of Lords. There is great concern for Her Majesty's health. I shall continue to leech, to circulate the vapors in the bloodstream. She'll be lucky to last the week. This is not the first time Dr. Doolittle's been here. You got a dying queen? Not for long. Dr. Doolittle is in the... <laughs> oh, well, wait, wait for me. A stowaway, my lady, who claims to be... Dr. Doolittle's apprentice. It's quite all right, Gareth. Well, if he was my apprentice, he should fetch my bags and keep his gob shut. <laughs> Animals in the Queen's chamber? I demand their immediate removal. Ah, Lady Rose, my apologies. Please forgive me. I didn't realize that you were part of John Doolittle. Is that Blaine? Blair. Poopling. No. It's with mudfly. No, it's mud it fly. Mud fly. With an umlaut. Yes. From the Germans. Of course, from the Germans. Why is he here? Her Majesty has personally requested Dr. Doolittle. All right. Well then, let's get to work. All right, Chip. Give her a good sniff. You are right, fellow. Something smelled wrong. And that's coming from a guy who loves the smell of butts. Oh, you do love butt. I detected a whiff of something else. Floral with earthy. I'm perplexed, Doc. I've never smelled anything like it before. Uh, clearly, Gypsy and I are out of our depths. May we consult? Well, of course, I'd be more than happy to help illuminate. John and I were students at Edinburgh years ago. Some thought he had a gift for observation. Oh, sorry about that, Minnie. 